King Frank and the Knights of the Eco Quest. King Frank and the Knights of the Eco Quest. King Frank and the Knights of the Eco Quest. Episode 5 The River of Pooh. <laughs> Princess Aqualine's behest, the knights have begun their first part of their quest. But a fly tipper criminal ambushed Katrain, and they duelled with swords on the rocky terrain. Katrain escaped the tiring fight, and the knights packed their bags and left at first light. They rode for a while through brown stained grass and through clouds of putrid smelling gas, which rose from the river and made them feel sick. Then something was spotted by Leofric. At the riverside, an old man dozed, aside a sign, very closed. Wake up, good sir. Leo Frick, the poet knight, Alf and Katrain call. May we cross this river before evening falls? We are knights in search of the lost fountain of Frank. Could you specially for us put out the gangplank? Yo, I don't wish to cause you worry, but good night. Be not in a hurry. Rest now. Perhaps order a takeaway curry. My name is Terry Wynn. You can call me Terry. It's been many long years since I ran the ferry. Well, that's just as well, Terry, as I've often been sick when travelling by raft, rowboat or ship. I see across the river there are horses and barns. Surely this river caused that village much harm. So true, because there's no sanitation or loose. The river is full of untreated poo the folk in yonder village do outside in the field. If you do want to go, form an orderly queue. When the rain comes down and the floods set in, poo leaks to the river, fills its banks to the brim. Now that you've got that lot off your chest, can't you see we are knights on a top-level quest? It's not only poo. We've got pesticides and chemicals. Oh, that's a lethal brew. Very informative, my poo-knowledgeable friend. But can't we cross here at the river's bend? Well, some have tried swimming and choked with the smell. Others that tried were pee-drenched as well. Fine with me. Don't want to be smelling a pee. Surely. A way across there's got to be. Well, possibly. There's a special challenge of mine. I'll take you across if you can write a rhyme. But heed. Many perished in poo, slime and worse by not coming up with suitable verse. Thanks for the offer, with which we will stick. Since we have a night of rhyme, Leo Frick. You may cross the river if this you can do. In under a minute, write a clary hue. If it works and it rhymes, it's safe to go through. Do you know how to write a clary hue? I'm Leo Frick the poet. A clary hue, I know it. It's a poem that has only four lines. Lines one and two must always rhyme. Lines three and four must also rhyme. And what always takes extra time is to create a character in the first line. That's right. And furthermore, in terms of style, it must be a poem that makes us smile. Also remember that without fail, the poem must tell of the river's tale. You've only one minute to complete the task. For a poet night, it's not such an ask. In my pedal-propelled sink, toilet and bath, I'll take you across if you do all that. What? Only a minute to write four lines of rhyme about this river of poo, pea and brown slime? What are you thinking, Capon? Ten seconds of writing time's already gone. The knights set about creating their verse with parchment and pen and lashings of mirth. I think this river of pee and poo should be introduced in line two. For the first line's character, I'm racking my brain. We could use my name. The seconds ticked by and then a few more. How long would it take them to get to line four? Then Leothric thrust his sword in the air. We have the character and the two couplets in there. Good ferryman, all is done that you asked. We've completed the composer Clarihue task. Well, let's see what you've got as my standards are high. If it works, you cross over, or else night-night, bye-bye. <clears throat> a night elf who searched for a loo fell into a river of poo. It had filled up from fields and nearby locations with the sewage of people with no sanitation. Surely that merits a standing ovation. Congratulations, you've done it on this occasion. Now let me show you your transport, my friends. On my nautical knowledge, you can depend. Now this looks like some engineering feet, tubes and pipes. And a bathroom suite. This toilet seat is where I steer. With you knights in the bath or the sink at the rear, we'll flush our way over with pedal power. I'll return for the horses in half an hour. To launch us away, give a firm pedal push. Here. Each of you row with a toilet brush. Now, heave all those brushes against the toxic slush. We've got chemicals, poo, pee, push, hearties, push. 
I'm feeling rough. Got to stand up. I'm going to be sick. Puke over the side. Don't panic. No, Alf. Stay back. Don't go towards... <laughs> oh, man overboard! That whirlpooling sludge could take him down. Help me before I'm pulled possibly drowned. Now, if there be a life belt, that would be a treat. But there ain't so quick. Rip off that toilet seat. <laughs> we'll attach it to this old rope twine. Now throw it in as a lifeline. What won't help is this incoming thunder and rain. We're getting ourselves a hurricane. Grab hold of that toilet seat, Al. We'll haul you in. We'll have you out in less than a min. That pool rain and winds tossing him about. We're going to lose sight. We won't hear his shouts. Oh, help me. I'm done for. Please don't tell my mum I went down in the sewage from villagers' bums. <laughs> oh, oh, don't worry. Look out. That big pile of poop will hit us. Get down, hurry. Hold on tight. It'll whip like the very. Turn the bath round to the oars, to the oars. Oh. That way, that way, to the floor. Oh. Leo, quick, stretch out your arm. More, a bit more. Grab onto the toilet brush oar. Terry, help me. Just one yank. And again. Leo, prick, you're safe inside. Now keep your sea legs. There's still a rough ride. We're on our way out. Don't give up hope. We'll haul you in. Keep hold of that rope. They battled poo waves, pea splatter and wind. With a heave-ho and a tug, they pulled poor Alf in. As the storm passed over, they reached the bank, still determined to find the Fountain of Frank. Terowin sailed back in his bathroom sweet ship and loaded the horses for their ferry trip. We got across. We made it. And wrote a clear hue hit. And in all that poo, we never quit. Oh, here's Terry and his stupid ferry. Stand by as I dock. Oh, let the horses alight. And I'll bid you goodbye, old smelly nights. Give thanks to the rain that has showered you clean. Except for the smell, no one knows where you've been. Ahead there are bogs, swamps and quicksand. Beware underfoot as you journey this land. There are monsters who'll cause a beastly commotion in the waters and shore of the Plastific Ocean. As they arrived at the Plastific Ocean shore, waves of plastic broke and roared. Beyond they saw an endless sea of rubbish and trash and life's debris. Used bottles, trays, bags, nets and twine crashed with each wave on the shoreline. But out in the distance, a tsunami of plastic was approaching the shore, bringing tons of rubbish up from the seafloor. The knights looked around, there was no time to run. This day on the beach wasn't going to be fun. It's, it's, it's a tsunami. There's nowhere we can go. Hold your breath. Don't let the horses go. At arms, night, we prepared for a monstrous plastic army. A plastic ocean plastic tsunami. <laughs> King Frank and the Knights of the Eco Quest is a soundscape production for fun kids, supported by the Audio Content Fund. King Frank and the Knights of the Eco Quest.